Hi everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks. I have my Renee Bouquet's Design Team Project for December. It's made with Fab Scraps Floral Delights papers. This is going to be a gift from my mother-in-law for Christmas. I made this a little different because I got I gathered pictures of her family before I made the book, so I made the book around the pictures. Usually I make the book for people to put pictures into, but this time I made the book around the pictures. I thought I was going to be able to make it thinner doing it that way, but of course not. I just can't hold back on my embellishments. You can't tell my mother-in-law about this video. She doesn't usually watch them, so I don't think she'll see it, but it's got to be a surprise. Now, this is a die cut that comes with the paper collection, this teapot. And you can also get these with the journal pack that comes with the collection, um, these die cut paper that will fit over the top, but they don't have any detail on them. Like this, there's an example. So I um, added, you know, with some white paint and some marker, some definition to the teapot. I also cut it and flipped it because the back side is white and the bottom like this so that it would look different. And I, so I glued this onto the chipboard piece and then I wrapped the top with some twine and of course I went wild with beads I've got some blue beads and white pearl beads and Brene bouquets glass micro beads in silver in there and these are Brene bouquets shabby blue roses glitter glass butterfly Oh, and I forgot to mention, my mother-in-law loves blue. She had blue all over her house. She's in a assisted living home now, but when she had her home, it was blue everywhere. This is Renee Bouquet's delicate flower embroidered lace. Here's a piece right there. And on the spine is her 4.5 inch wide floral embroidered lace. And on the spine, that also, this is a petaloo flower, it's a um, velvet flower. And I've got this charm string with the cameo. Bought that at Michael's, I believe. This is Renee Bouquet's So Shabby White Chiffon Large Flower. So pretty. And Renee Bouquet's Victorian Tarnished Silver Pocket Watch that I filled with beads again and silver micro beads. This says Cherish and I painted it. It's a chipboard and heat embossed it with embossing powder. Delicate Beauty Guy Pure Lace um, Doilies. Got everything I think. Oh, the back I have. These are images I printed from my computer um, and made them blue to match the paper. So those don't come with the paper collection. I added those on and the paste placed a journal. I didn't do any journaling. I let her do it. One thing, my handwriting is terrible. Got a couple of mulberry paper flowers. And I think that's it. And I did put some pictures in, some of the very old ones, and I did all the pictures black and white. I thought it went really well with the colors. So here we have a tag up here for journaling. It's also, it's another one of the ones that I made up on my computer. This one as well. This says, Love and Happiness to Thee. This is my mother-in-law as a young lady with my father-in-law. He's passed away now. This is a chipboard, a wood piece from Michaels and a wood piece from Prima and just a blue sapphire charm. 
on the Spellbinders die. This is Renee's two and three quarter inch wide Paris Market lace. So pretty, I've got it there on that page, and here on this page, and another tag. So I plan on putting this is her place for her daughter and her daughter's husband. And then when you open it up, it's their children inside there. This is an old earring. This is a sticker that goes with the collection. Prima wood icon. Mulberry flowers. Two places for pictures. A little tag for journaling. Some more printed from my computer. This is a wood key, painted white, and a Kaiser Craft telephone, Guy Pure Lace from Renee Bouquets, more places for pictures, journaling, wood feather, more printed from my computer, this lace back here, two and three quarters. Paris wide Paris market lace. I try to get these laces names all written down beforehand, but I'm not always successful. Next page. Tag. Printed on my computer. Renee Bouquet's two inch wide bridesmaids lace. Two place for two pictures there. And here's a place for three pictures. And another journaling tag. More guy pure lace over here. My mother in law lo loves birds and she loved China. You know, blue willow China. And place for a picture here. This is a Bow Bunny Brad, left over from another album. Journaling spot. My mother in law used to have a china cupboard, looked a lot like that. Here's some more bridesmaids lace. And place for two pictures here. Another journaling tag. Another piece from my computer, another sticker from the collection, and my mother-in-law in the kitchen as a young woman and a not-so-young woman. Guy Pure Lace, Prima Wood Icon, another place for a picture, journaling tag, Renee Bouquet's Princess Rhinestone Button. I love those, my favorites. Here's a bird chipboard. Renee Bouquet's Dainty White Lace. A doily back there. Here's her children as young ones. A Prima Wood Icon, a sticker from the collection. This is a vintage earring. And a journaling spot. This comes, this is actually cut out from the journaling pack with the collection. A charm, purse charm, place for pictures and journaling. Here's a, another Prima Wood piece, another vintage earring. Well, that's a vintage pin, I think. This is one of Renee Bouquet's silver spoon trinkets with some more beads in it. And another journaling tag. And some Petaloo velvet flowers. I love those. And that's it. I hope my mother-in-law likes it. I really like it. I think it came out really pretty. And I'll be putting everybody's pictures in. I haven't even taken my picture yet. My husband and my picture yet. 
that's my mini and don't forget to go to Renee Bouquet's and you can make all your projects that much more beautiful with all her gorgeous things. Did I show you these butterflies in blue, blue roses? So pretty. And if I don't get on again before the holidays are over, I wish everyone Merry Christmas and Happy Happy Holidays. Thanks so much for watching.